All right, guys, it looks like I made a video on how to configure your physical PLC to talk with uh, Factor.io. So there's two here on how to set up the drivers for the S7-1200, uh, but I neglected to do a video on how to do uh, PLC SIM and Factor.io. So let's do that now. Uh, it is in the, uh, the Factor.io lab manual. So um, I'll put this video right here. Like it'll probably be at the top because most people are using PLC SIM. Uh, the textbooks are available right here. So you got your main textbook that you're working through. Then there's a factor IO exercise manual and then the HMI exercise manual. So if we go to the factor IO exercise manual, uh, and let me just bring it, bring it up as a, well, I should have, I was going to bring it up as a PDF, but it should have our steps here. So physical PLC is right here. So we click here. That tells us all the steps for a physical PLC. Uh, right after that is how to set up uh, your factor IO talk with uh, the PLC SIM. Okay, so it says you don't necessarily need a physical PLC to control factor IO, uh, but you do need a specific uh, program. So everything's available uh, at this link right here. So that will bring you to this page from factor IO. And it has uh, a number of different um, template programs that you have to download. So if you're using version 13, S7-1200, then grab this program right here. If you're using the 1500 with uh, version 13, then grab this one. Okay, same thing, version 14, grab the 1200 program here, grab the 1500 program here, and for version uh, 15, which is compatible with version 16 and 17, uh, your S7-1200 version is here, and your S7-1500 is here. Okay, so hopefully when you downloaded uh, your uh, Right, your 21 day trial, you did the ultimate. Uh, that's gonna allow you to do the, both the 1200 and the 1500 PLC. So make your choice on these guys and then you can download this. Um, so if I was to, uh, to click on this, then it'll obviously download um, the zip file, right? And then when you go to that file, then it'll be a zip file. So just go to it uh, and then extract all to that same folder. And then you'll have uh, the program that's available there. So once that's set up, um, then what you're going to do is just, um, I would go back one, right? So go back to here, grab this, uh, cut it, and then put it into, like I always back everything up to a uh, hard drive so you can back it up to your hard drive. You can also put it into documents. Uh, then you're gonna go to automation and then you're gonna drop that guy in there, so there's your uh, the, there's your template that you're going to to work with. Okay, so once that's uh, within there, then you can double click on this guy, and you can double click on that program, and it should bring it up in your factory. Again, whether you're using 13 or 14 or 15, make sure that you uh, have downloaded the appropriate file there. Excellent. Okay, so everything's uh, up and running here. Let's keep following through on the uh, on the steps. Okay, so we're going to download that for your specific firmware version. Okay, then it says to extract it. Beauty, we did that. Okay, cut and copy the entire folder into your automation folder. We did that as well. Okay, so then you're adding it into here. And then I would also copy and paste that onto your hard drive. So back, back up your full automation folder to a hard drive just in case, you know, something goes wrong. Then you always have a backup there. Okay, open the folder and double click on the factory uh, template S7-1200 program. Uh, you may wish to save the project with a new desired name, such as factory template S7-1200 PLC SIM. That way you'll know that it's uh, the PLC SIM version, right? Okay, it says in existing OB, there's, a, there's already a network one. Okay, excellent. So if we go here to our project view within that template program, and then we go here to PLC one, then program blocks, then main OB. You'll see that below there's a function that's available there. And that function is being called right here. Okay, so this is what allows uh, your, this is what allows your PLC SIM to talk to factor IO. Okay, if we take a look at that function, then it's got everything here for that specific program to talk to your factor IO. 
Okay. Do I know how this works? I have no idea how this works, but it's the magic uh, function that allows both programs to talk to each other. So do me a favor um, and don't delete network one because this guy's crucial for talking with your uh, with your factor IO. Okay, it says changing the factor IO template back to lad form or ladder format. Factor IO template is written in function block. You may want to change the format of the of the style of OB1 back to LED. Uh, so navigate to the OB1, left click on the main OB, and scroll down to select uh, switch programming language to lad. So where is that? Navigate to the OB, left click on the main OB. Okay, and then we go down to switch programming language. Oh, and then we can change it to ladder. Beautiful. Okay, so now, so take a choice. The, the, I mean, a course is done in ladder, so I would switch over to uh, ladder. I haven't created a course on function block yet. Okay, once you've done that, the OB1 will restore to the lad format that you're familiar with. Cool. So what we did there was we right clicked here, we went down to switch program, programming language, and we were able to change from function block to ladder. Beautiful. And if we went back to function block, you'll see that uh, your favorites are here in function block. Whereas if we go back to the ladder, then you'll see that the favorites now go back to the ladder. Okay, beautiful. Okay, so that's cool. Uh, once you've written your program and wish to download, select the PLC one and turn on the PLC sim, sim simulation by clicking on uh, the start simulation icon. Okay, so what the next thing you need to do is like, have your factor IO and your TA portal uh, side by side here. So let me move this guy out of the way. Let me bring up factor IO, and then we'll be able to, um, to have both programs side by side. And then I'll walk you through the next steps. So we'll, we'll create a quick little program that corresponds to the whatever scene that we brought up, and then we'll download um, our program and have a talking with the factor IO. Okay, so give me two seconds. Let me get factor IO up and running. Okay, so I've got my TA portal here, and then I've got my factor IO on the side here. Let's go to scenes, and we need like a basic scene that we can uh, use. We just need something where it has a uh, a control panel and uh, and a conveyor line. Let's do this. Let's do this sorting by height uh, basic. Okay, so for this scene right here, uh, we've got a control panel. Looks kind of like it's got a stop, a start, and a reset. Selector switch and everything. All we're going to do is we're going to get this conveyor line running uh, when we have the stop and start uh, in the appropriate manner. So we're going to do a three-wire control. Uh, first thing we're going to do is we're going to come up here and go to File and go to Drivers. Okay, for this guy, for this scene, we have all these different drivers that are available. I have the ultimate version, so it's got everything available. For your Siemens, if you just have the Siemens, then you have these guys. Uh, so on the other video, we were doing a physical PLC. For this one, we're going to do uh, the PLC sim. So click here, and now you can see that for this specific scene, uh, we've got these inputs that we can make use of, and these outputs that we can make use of as well. So let's go over here to our TIA. Let's drop in a three-wire control. So a stop, a start, a holding contact, and an output. And let's start off with the output. The output that we want uh, for this guy is just our conveyor entry. So that's percent Q0.0. .0. So quickly put that in here. Okay, and then uh, we've got our stop and our start. So stop is for this guy, percent uh, input 1.2. So you'll see here that I don't have to, um, I don't have to like offset the inputs or anything when I'm using PLC sim. Uh, when we're using the start, the start is going to be percent input uh, 1.0. Beauty. That looks good, right? Stops there, starts there. Okay, and then we want these guys uh, labeled the same. So uh, this guy right here. Is going to be percent Q0.0. Oops, easy now. Okay, beauty. So now we've got our three wire control that works with this guy. 
Next thing we're going to do uh, is we're going to go to um, our device configuration. Okay, let's put this to like 400% as usual. And we're going to right click on this guy and go to uh, properties. Okay, and here you can see that uh, for this guy, it looks like uh, the IP address that was given is 192.168.0.1. So if we go over to our configuration now, uh, we've got our S7-1200. And for this guy, we don't actually have to put in that IP address, right? It looks like it's just going to, uh, to talk to it. Normally, if you were talking between an S7-1200, like a physical PLC, and Factor IO, you would have to put in the actual IP address. But for this one, for PLC SIM, it doesn't seem like we need to, uh, to do that, okay? Um, you'll see that all, there's also no offset here for the Boolean inputs or Boolean outputs. Um, and for this guy, I'm not going to do the auto connect. I'm just going to connect uh, as needed. Okay, so it doesn't seem like we need to do anything over here, right? Uh, except if you were doing like the PLC SIM advanced for the 1500, then you would choose this. Okay, but for now, we're just doing the S7-1200. Okay, let's go back to uh, our main driver here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to my main OB. I'm going to click on the main OB here, and I'm going to start up my PLC SIM. But let's see. Let's, if I try and connect now, let's see if I can actually connect. I don't think it's going to work. Seems that PLC SIM is not running. Please start it and try again. Okay, so this is crucial to start this first. So click here. Come up here and start your PLC SIM. We're going through the standard steps in order to get PLC SIM up and running. Okay, looks good. Okay, so let's hit uh, load. Then we'll start the PLC up. Okay, looks good. Zero errors, zero warnings. Let's drop this down. Let's go and monitor our program now. Okay, so we get green lights, logic continuity at the stop at the moment. And you'll see that the stop is not coming in yet because I'm still not talking to um, the, the to the factory IO. So let's hit connect and see whether we can connect to this guy. See this changing, and then hopefully this changes to a green check mark. Very nice. Okay, a green check mark it is. So that now means that um, our TIA and our factory IO are talking to each other. I'm going to minimize this PLC SIM window here. Oh, and you'll also notice that um, as soon as I connected, this went true. Okay, so if we take a look um, at the factor IO, sorry, and then we go to view uh, and then uh, dock all the tags, we should see the state of uh, all of the units at rest, right? I'm going to pre press play to turn on here. And if I go down and I go to uh, the stop push button, you can see that the stop push button is illuminated. So that means it's a, a normally closed or sending a one into the PLC memory. This one's looking for a one, so that's true. Uh, the, um, the start push button, which is right here, uh, looks like it's a normally open. So it's waiting for me to press this push button. And when I press this push button, now that I'm in the play mode, uh, then this should change state. We should also see this change state as well. So I'm going to press uh, the start and you can see that uh, right now the start is illuminated. Our conveyor is running now. Okay. And then when I let go of the start, then it'll go off because it's a normally open contact. Now we got all kinds of pallets that are uh, building up on each other. So I want to hit the stop and stop that conveyor there. Cool. Eh? So I can reset the animation. I can go view and clear the dock tags. And now we can see that we're obviously talking to uh, our factor IO in that we're able to change the state of our stop push button. So waiting for it to go, go from an arrow to a hand, you can see that that input right here is changing state. So you have to go with this particular scene, you can make your own scenes, but with that particular scene, you have to go with that input, uh, percent input 1.2 uh, and we saw that right here, right? That was our stop push button right here. And our start was uh, already set at percent input 1.0.
Okay, so hitting the start, we now turn on the three wire and you can see that the conveyor is running and all of our pallets are rocking through and they smack into this obstruction here. So, but the, the gist of this is to show how to get your factory out talking with your uh, TAA. So hopefully that's helped in order to have all the steps there. So first step is to, uh, to go to this website right here, right? So first thing is to, to go to this website, download the specific uh, template, pa pro template project for version 13, 14, or 15, 16, or 17, whichever one uh, you're using, okay? And it does have the exact same uh, instructions below, right? And that you're saving it, uh, and then you, uh, you, you know, you're opening up a scene within Factor.io, then you create a quick little program, uh, you start the simulation, right? You do a search, load, and then if it's running, then we go to the driver configuration of Factor.io, we choose Siemens S7 PLC SIM. In the configuration, we're using the S7 1200 or the 1500, whichever one uh, you chose. Uh, and then you can press escape or you can go back uh, to the driver window here, right? Once you choose the PLC SIM, then if you're just creating a scene, then it'll be blank. If you've grabbed a, a pre-configured scene, then the inputs and the outputs will be uh, available there. Okay, then you can go to, uh, once you've got all that set up, then I find it's best to put both programs side by side. You can minimize this guy and then you can zoom in on your program and then you can, uh, you can see in real time how everything's changing state between your simulation. So there's my stop push button changing and, uh, and your actual program beside here. Okay, so hopefully that clears up how to get the factor IO to talk to your PLC SIM. The main thing is this function that's being, uh, that's being brought up every scan cycle, right? And that function is available right here. So the code here allows this program and this program to talk to each other. No need to, uh, if we go to file and drivers and then go to configuration, uh, no need to offset our inputs or our outputs because we don't actually have physical inputs or physical outputs on this PLC SIM. All right, guys, hopefully everything, uh, that, or hopefully that clears everything up. Uh, again, if there's any issues during the course and, and you found that, you know, there's something that I completely missed uh, or you find that, um, you know, it's not flowing properly, like I should have put something in, in another place, then please tell me and, uh, and I can create another video to help it or I can reconfigure things within the course uh, so it flows better. All right, guys, thanks very much. Good luck on uh, the Factor.io and your TAA course.